What up guys and girls, another brand new video coming at you today. We are back for more highlights of the Racepec F1 Esports Pacific Series in Season 3 in Tier 2. We're here for round number 3 here at the Dutch Grand Prix here at Zandvoort. First time we've been here to the Netherlands. Uh, it's three points the gap between GeForce Dre and OP Magic at the top of the order there. So it is very close there. Same constructors, five points between Mercedes and Haas. Ferrari down in seventh on just five points. Uh, we're situated down in P14, I think from memory, from uh, the one point that we scored back at uh, Australia. And then, well... I'll get into what happened back at uh, Bahrain. There's the license points and the driver of the day yeah, so far for this season. So, first things foremost, I probably have mentioned it in the uh, the Dynamic Nights Esports video, but um, yes, I am behind on a lot of highlights videos. Let's be honest, I'm trying to catch up as quickly as I can. So uh, just bear with me. It may take some time here. So um, yeah, we're here. Uh, for, actually, I'll we'll cla we'll clarify first things first. Um, yeah, like I said, um, I, I did take part in the Bahrain Grand Prix. Unfortunately, I forgot to press the record button on the Elgato game capture so, uh, program that I usually have. So, um, and yeah, I didn't, um, unfortunately, didn't have zero footage. I thought I had something, but I didn't in the end. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it was certainly entertaining to say the least. I mean, qualifying was not to stand it, let's be honest. It was absolutely horrendous. So, uh, I started from the back and I made my way up very uh, well. I made my way up the order very, very slightly, and I think it was on track for a, a podium in that race. But uh, unfortunately, uh, it was either between the game or my internet that I lagged out in the end, and unfortunately, I could not rejoin. So that's why you saw on the graphic uh, a bit earlier on. Hence, why I was down in like P16 or something in the end of the race. So that's where my AI car. Uh, finished in the end, but um, the first run is done and dusted. It's a 10 5 8 4, which puts us in P6 for the time being. So, this is the first time that we're uh, racing here at uh, the new Zandvoort. Well, we need to say the new Zandvoort circuit, sort of the updated Zandvoort circuit, because uh, obviously Formula One were originally supposed to come back for uh, to the Netherlands in 2020, but of course, COVID had other ideas so um it's been obviously put back a year at least anyways uh, before we get out it's, so it's obviously it'd be a while before we actually see proper f1 cars so it's actually gamers that actually have the first crack at the uh, the netherlands circuit basically the same what happens when the, in the, the vietnam circuit as well so um first run in just over 10 minutes time rain in 10 minutes he's a bit of an update from jeff is rain forecast apparently later on in the session but uh it's gonna be looking i think touch and go uh whether that will happen or not but the first run obviously a couple of runs i did were on the medium compound tires that 10 6 8 whatever it was that i did earlier 10 5 8 sorry uh i did that on the first run and obviously cut a cool down lap then went for the third run and yeah didn't quite work out in the end obviously invalidate coming through uh, turn eight, I think I was running a bit too wide there. But uh, it's a, it's a very tricky circuit, I've got to say. And this banking area is not ideal to say the least. And to be honest, I didn't have too much practice. I maybe had a little bit of practice going into this one, but not a great deal of it. I think with the way the calendars are situated with league racing, as I make a meal of it going through turn seven, went way, way too wide through there. It's, uh, the calendar sort of lined up with the league racing. I think DNE's pretty much was in the same little boat. Like the, the race spec was on Tuesday, and then Dynamic Nights Esports was on Friday. So it's like, as in, like obviously Pacific Tier, what we're doing, what we're showing now. So, um, and then, then obviously we went to the same circuit on the Friday in DNE. So, uh, which we'll, I'll show obviously a bit later on. But uh, we've now dropped back to uh, position 12 now. But. Uh, We'll come around the final corner here. This is, this is a little bit tricky. You don't want to go out too high, but uh, go to the shortest run to the line, and it's back up into position 10 there. So that wasn't overly uh, too bad in the end there. So um, but then we come back, obviously, into the pit lane to go onto another uh, fresh set of soft compound of tyres here. So... Uh, I mean, it wasn't too bad. It was a, a nine. What was it? A nine seven six one. I think it is from memory. 
where we were. So, uh, I mean, it didn't feel too bad. I mean, I, did, I had borrowed a setup from uh, VSR Jake, I think it was, uh, for this track, because he said he had a, I think it was a godly setup. So, uh, again, and, and he's a little bit different. He's on a PC racing compared to me I'm on PS4 and uh, the other occasion on Xbox. So, um, well, we're going to go out here for another run here. Well, I think I'm going to show you my full lap here. I think it's this lap here that is going to be uh, my fastest lap around here. Minutes of the Five minutes left on the session, so we should have enough time, hopefully, to get one more run in after this one. So let's go for a lap here at Zanville. So turn one, we're going to try and get it nice and close to the curb, not touch the curb. I was either run it out wide to the exit. Turn two is a little bit tricky. You have to turn in a little bit early, then keep it tight through turn three. Into turn three, not go too far up the banking. Well, that was my theory of it. Anyway, now through flat, through four, five, and six, I think, from memory. You ha hold it in seventh gear. Now turn seven, much, much better through there. Hit the apex perfectly. And again, these are fast flowing corners here. Turn eight, now into nine. Get on to the earliest gear, fourth up the fourth gear, now back into third gear. Shift up early in the fourth uh, through turn 10. Now this is one of the DRS zones around this track, this one plus the front straight. Now to do the tricky turn 11, you had to take a lot of curb then turn 12. It's one of the Alfa Romeos gets out of the way there. You can apparently go purple through sector 2, I, I find that hard to believe anyway. But um, And again, this one is a little tricky, go through turn 13. You don't want to run out too wide, otherwise you'll invalidate your lap time. But it, it felt like a decent lap time. Cross the line, get jump up into peak 6 just behind my teammate, G-Force Hazard there. So, uh, that actually felt pretty decent, not going to lie. So, uh, and obviously we're going to come back into the pit lane as we nearly nail it. Can't be getting the pit lane there. So, uh, I was actually testing out the um, uh, the what the right braking point is for, like, the speed limits. Uh, so, you can get under the 80, I think it's 80 Ks for the speed limits around here. But um, we're going to just have enough time, I think, just for one more run here around the Netherlands here. So we're going to see if we can actually improve it a little bit more here. Cloud cover. Okay, come on. There's obviously now a little Maybe bit of cloud cover as come well. On, yeah. So and it is roughly about a minute, uh, a little bit over a minute actually. Probably a minute ten here. That's, uh, that last roll, oh, that was not ideal there through uh, the, the banking. And it actually put me off big time there. I was lagging, I think, a little bit here. My internet was having issues. That wasn't ideal either. As you can see, cars every which way, and this this slap was an absolute mess. I'm going to say the least. So uh, it was really off-putting. And in the end, I think I make an error, just running a little bit too wide through there. I was giving him an absolute all. Trust me, running out probably a little bit again too wide on this lap here. So as everybody, most guys are now retiring. We come through here. We probably take too much curb in the end and invalidate the lap time there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all done and dusted there. Just got to make sure nobody else is on a flying lap here. So I just pull off across the inside line here. Actually, just back away. He just makes sure I'm not in anybody's road here. And I think the other car was the racing point of, uh, I'm not sure whether it was kick butt Kiwi or whatever the other racing point is. I think it's Misty Griffin there. But, um, yeah, that was basically qualifying done and dusted for me. And we end up in position nine in the end. It's a kick butt Kiwi that uh, gets pole position. So that's his first pole of the season. Uh, ahead of OP Magic. And I think it's uh, Ramsey in the P3. Uh, G-Force Dre in fourth. Uh, I think it's Grimm in P5. Cooter in sixth. Rock in P7. He's a reserve. And the two Ferraris has her in front of me. And then Joggles rounds out your top 10 all the way back to Misty Griffin in position 18. So decent numbers actually all around the first couple of rounds. So that's actually very good, in, a very great turnout from uh, everybody here. But um, we're basically, we were getting in ready to go for the, uh, well, basically, as you can see, it's the, base, the first attempt. But unfortunately, oh, the game has decided to glitch itself and everybody is basically stuck in this position. So as usual, Deaf Codemasters love to completely fuck up an online game somewhere along the line, don't they? So, um, basically, we had to do a full restart out of all that. So, um, yeah, we had to basically pick the car. Once, Obviously, when you do a full restart, you have to, like, pick your car. 
obviously, and uh, obviously had to. Um, what's the? I'm not. I'm not. I've never been a host, really. So, but the host has to like uh, set the grid basically from uh, qualifying. So um, that probably took a little bit of time uh, to get that all sorted here. And everybody, basically, all everybody pretty much has to start on the same compound of tyres oh, right. that they qualified on. Basically, I think. I think that's probably the same for the top ten. So. Uh, as always, they were back again for attempt number two. So we're going to obviously start on the soft compounded tyres. And then I was a bit unsure which way to go Hopefully. for like uh, later on to the hards or the medium. So because I have been obviously commentating a few other league races and it's been a sort of a mixed bag whether soft to hard or soft to medium is the way to go. So I was a bit unknown. Uh, for this one, but uh, we're, we're gonna have the soft the hard compound of tires to be just to be on the safe side here So uh, and also another thing Thank you Jeff as always as he does the formation lap So and the other thing as well, you have to always load your setup as well Re Very good reminder there. So if you have to have a, a full restart make sure you load your setup because I don't think you preferably want to be doing a balanced setup around certain tracks Avoid to say the least here anyway, but um First lap, I think there was right. an issue as well up the front here where I think the pole sit has actually uh, got on the wrong compound of tyres and uh, obviously I think under the rules you're not supposed to like change tyres if you're obviously if you qualify inside the top 10 you start on the softs but um, it might be an issue later on so we'll see here we go five red lights very long hole but let's do it around Zandvoort and it's a decentish start off the line there. Grimm has had an absolute shocker. Actually, he's another one that's possibly has started on the wrong compound of tyres. He's on the mediums. So we're uh, battling away here with uh, Joggles. We've uh, we already picked up a warning already. Taking nice, nice of course, these through here. My teammates had a bit of an issue as we're banging side by side with the rock there in the McLaren. We try to get the drive out of here, which we can't. We're side by side here with Joggles. This is... Uh, we've never, never seen too many cars go side by side. Well, we haven't seen any real life Formula 1 cars do that, so uh, we'll have to wait right. and see what it's yeah, like in real life. But I've had to let him go there, so we're back into yeah, position 8. So we're just going to take things nice and cautiously uh, through here. So, but yeah, it was uh, actually, uh, so it was Misty Griffin, and I think Kick Butt was the other one that actually. I think maybe accidentally started on the medium compound of tyres or the game gave him that. I'm not entirely sure there, but uh, yeah, like I said, under the rules there, if you start on the wrong compound of tyres, you usually get disqualified. So um, I think there was a lot of chatter about that after the race. So um, we survived that one. That's the main thing. So we're just going to settle in behind as best we can. So it is, I think Ramsey's actually taking the lead of the race, if I'm not mistaken. And... Uh, I, you probably hear the, the gaming audio glitch out a little bit uh, from time to time. It was Dre and I think uh, whoever the other car was, it looks like the, the racing point. Looks like kick butt. Yeah, it is actually. So uh, they're battling away the position. We're under a bit of attack there from Conrad behind the Williams. But uh, you'll probably notice that the gaming audio sort of glitches out a little bit from time to time as Grimm has retired from the race. So um, there's probably realised maybe the rules of Starting on the wrong compound at time, not sure, but uh, Dre and uh, I think that's OP Magic are battling away for position. So those guys are battling uh, quite a bit here. It's actually letting, it probably can't tell on the mini map maybe, but uh, you, you actually see it's actually the Red Bulls that leave one, two at the moment. So Kuda and Ramsey have actually pulled away uh, from the, the next group of cars, which is basically, well, us. Basically, you go from OP, Dre, Rock. Uh, kick butt myself joggles and probably include conrod in there as well and then you got banana in position 10 who started outside the 10 obviously on the hard compound of tires now we've got the drs here uh the first time i think on this back on oh, the sorry the front straight i should say but uh, not a great deal happened to be honest in the early couple of laps i actually started to drop off the pace here off the top guys and i was starting to wonder why this was the case here is i think my teammates actually in the lane very early so i think he, he tried pushing up for as long as he can not sure if he actually got wing damage or not there from uh, what happened in lap one but uh we were under a bit of attack there from uh, conrad going through turn three but we just managed him to hang on here but keep on battling here we're going to lose our grip to these guys in front here so um Oh, but also getting back to what I was saying earlier, the gaming audio may glitch out as we run it a little bit wide 
through uh, turn tw uh, 11 and 12 there, but we just managed to hang on to the back of these guys. You can tell, yeah, the, the gaming audio would glitch out. I think it's because maybe my cables on the headset were probably a little bit tangled up. That might have been the reason. So um, if you're hearing that, that's, that's probably the main reason why I was a little bit unhappy uh, with that one. Anyway, so um, as Rock sends it up the inside on OP Magic as we nearly lose the car going on the curb there. Twice it said earlier on in qualifying, you can't touch the curb. OP's off the road, so they've had a uh, he's had a coming together with, I think the Rock maybe had something to do with that, but you see we're under attack from uh, Conrod all over the back of us here. We've, I think we're outside the one second bracket possibly of Joggles, maybe not, but um, they're now up into obviously position uh, seven now in this race with obviously OP's off here. So um, let's have a look at some replays from the start on board with uh, Joggles here, the Alpha Tauri. You see, it was a pretty decent start Actually, for him really here. Start. There's Grimm, obviously, to the left-hand side of screen. See, so takes it nice, cautiously. Obviously, we were side by side for him. But, but, um, and this is obviously a very, very tricky corner. You don't want to go in too oh, deep. I think, just, just spun. I think Hazard may have got some front wing damage. I'm ghosting, apparently, on uh, Juggles' screen. But um, has a grip. I don't think... It, that was the case on my screen, but anyway, side by side through here. Head through turn seven and gets the move done in the end. So that was very nice job there from uh, for Joggles. Is on board with uh, G Force Dre. I think this is his move on OP Magic in a turn one. Big lunge there. Came from nowhere. Might have put OP off a little bit there. Or might have gone in maybe a little bit too deep in that one, but uh, managed to just get away with that. I honestly don't know how he did that, but anyway, it is uh, The Rock and uh, OP in their battle. So uh, The Rock does get the move done. And then it must have been just a little bit of contact afterwards because uh, then go OP goes off. So that, that was very weird in the end. So actually, here's a better view of it on board with Joggles. So I think he had the much better view of this battle here. So I uh, might have given him a little bit of a squeeze there enough goes OP. So and plus OP and the, and the 50 meter board so uh, has been destroyed so uh, yeah that's a, that's a sort of a tricky one with uh, that one so um, uh, we'll wait and see what happens there but uh, he's kick butt and the rock going side by side this time rocks on the inside and he does get the well sorry the outside which will turn to the inside here and he gets the move done that was a position four there but um, yeah back to us we're still hanging on to the back here of joggles actually which I was very surprised at to be honest so I think this, uh, I, didn't, uh, I wasn't sure the setup. It didn't, as we have an absolute oh, meal of it through there. As Dre's actually had a moment as well. So we obviously pick up our first time penalty to race, but now Dre has lost a couple of spots there. So he's back behind us into P6. So I'm not sure entirely what's happened there to Dre, but uh, now we're trying to get back, get back into our rhythm a little bit here. Uh, I don't know what it was here. Maybe some parts of the circuit I felt maybe close enough to joggles, but others I just felt like it was nowhere. And you can see that there's the tire wear on the screen. It didn't didn't feel too bad to be honest, but uh, just was feeling weird at the time. He's on board. The fuck went to G Force Dre? Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, he probably saw that in the foreground. Might have done that on his own there. Might have just maybe touched the grass a little bit too much there. Uh, did Dre, but. Um, we only managed to lose a couple of spots as we nearly lose the back end ourselves going through to out of turn three we're using every single bit of drs that's uh, not yeah, drs ers i think we've well and truly been dropped now by joggles so he's alan truly uh pulled away but we're going to be very much under attack from dre in the not too distant future i would think we keep running wide like that that's not going to help things of course he will have the drs and this uh, under this straight I should say between 10 and 11 and then we'll get the DRS as well down the front straight as well but we managed to hang on for Fuel the time being hanging nice available. and cautiously through the uh, sort of the hairpin you could call it a turn 12 and we're keeping it nice and calm through here I didn't feel like I had the best best of runs out of uh, any lap at all around here so around Zanville so I mean yeah it was probably don't know what that was based on, but uh, now Dre going to go for possibly a move down here into turn one and to lap 11. There's a little bit of contact through there, and I think he's actually going to back away from that one. So um, a fair play to Dre. 
No, there's not there's not too many drivers that do that actually. They try go for a move, but then probably go a little bit too aggressive and you just have to sort of play well, well has to sort of play catch up again a little bit here. But um, again, this is basically you see there. I actually was going to change the wing to go up in the next stop, but because uh, I was still unhappy with the setup here, maybe maybe too much focusing on straight line speed. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember from. Uh, because it was a, well, I think it was like three, eight wings or something from memory, but uh, this didn't feel quick enough. But all the other guys that are really just starting to pull away here as, uh, as uh, one of the leaders into the pit lane, that's Ramsey, I think. It's Dre having a little look again down into turn one. We let him have a look, leave the door open. We have to use every single bit of curve we can, but just managing to hang on for the time being. That's uh, and through turn three we go. We should pull away if we get a good drive. Yeah, re uh, relatively okay. So while uh, we we have uh, hang on for the time being here, so uh, that wasn't too bad. That probably been down to the drive again. But I changed it back a, about a lap later. So um, with the the front wing change, or not the front wing change, but the downforce change here. But uh, yeah, oh, struggling through turn 11 and 12. It was not one of my favorite Box. corners at all. I'm actually going to pit the, at the end of this lap here to uh, get off the soft compound. Well, actually, to, uh, I, I didn't really know, to be honest, but it was set up base or the tires dropped off too quickly, but I'm going to bail out and come into the pit lane here and go onto the hard compound of tires. There's a few others, I think, in the lane here as well. There's the way we go onto the hard compound of tires. There's uh, the McLaren pit box there. I think that's the rock. Uh, that was in uh, Williams, I think, of Conrad also come into the pit lane as well. So this sort of seems to be the way the strategy is going, I think. So uh, the softs to hards, but you never know. Some guys may stretch it out softs to mediums, but of course other guys who are doing the opposite way, like Banana, for yeah, example. For he's doing hards properly to softs, if I'm going to have a hazard a guess. His joggles in for his stop on uh, lap 14 this season. I think Dre's also in for this one as well so and of course we're just coming around the cup final couple of corners here so we've not hopefully not he's not done an overcut on us that would have probably not have been a great deal uh, thing to deal with anyway if he'd overcut us after this stop but i was pushing on as much as i can to avoid that because there, there's the guys leaving the pit lane now see we don't lose we uh we don't gain a spot, obviously, on joggles. We sort of gain back a little bit of time, actually, but uh, we just try to. We just. We've, I think we've actually extended our gap to Dre behind there in P. Well, in, what are we now? We're P10, he's in P11. So there's obviously still a couple of guys still left to pit at this rate, but um, uh, lap 15 now. At the, sorry, the end of lap 15, he gained a lot of time in the end. I had an sh absolute shocker again through turns 11 and oh, time. Could never get that corner right at all. Because the car did never could ride the bumps or the crack at all there. So, um, you yeah, know, it was really puzzling here at the end. So, um, I'm using every bit of ERS. So you've got to cover the inside line here down at the turn one. So, you've got to make it go around the outside. There's a little bit of contact between us two. And I felt it fair to just let him go that one. So, um, you could say it's basically 15 all now, if you call it a tennis match between myself and Dre. Now I'm going to go close to losing another spot to Conrad. We'll just hang on uh, for the time being. But, um, yeah, that would have been a bit awkward had we made contact. or well, had it ended badly for the both of us there. It, thankfully, it was sort of only like half spins. You'll see here on the replay here. As we make a little bit of contact there. So we thankfully just managed to save our cars there out of all of that. So that was very, very lucky. And Not bad. I'll put my hand up there. That was easily my bad. Uh, uh, that one there. So, um, the but anyway, I, I back we go. We further up the road to the Rock, who's had a oh moment god, out rock. of turn 10. Oh my god, he's super twitchy on and these hearts. Joggles now gets up into P7, I think that was. Which I think will effectively be P uh, the podium in P3. You get very, very sideways there coming out of uh, turn 9, that was. I was trying to keep in the DRS window of Dre, but in the end I lost it out of... Uh, and turn 10, update. The gap to the car ahead is 1.4 seconds. They're on fresh hearts. Their tyres are three laps old. The time last lap was a 1.12.8. You're dropping back by around two tenths each lap. And he's got no penalties at the moment by the sounds of it. So uh, 
He's getting it pretty clean at the moment, but it was an incident behind there. I think Conrod's had a spin coming through uh, turn seven and eight there, but look at it on the mini map. So, uh, yeah, he's lost out quite a, a lot of ground there. He's actually putting a lot of pressure on me there. It's virtual safety car's now being deployed because kick butt's out of the Grand Prix. There's his car there on the inside just before the pit lane entry. Oh, I was contemplating at this time, could I have pitted for the medium compound of tyres to go to the end? But I thought, you know what, let's just stay out for the time being. We're probably going to maybe lose, well, in the virtual safety car, we probably might have might have lose not too much spots anyway. But my teammate does come in uh, during this, plus there was a few others that came in. Which one is it? For that one. So here's a replay of what actually happened. So this oh, is yeah. kick butt behind and what was effectively will be P3. It just oh, God, loses it fucking... randomly through there. and. Into the wall, that's Racing it. Racing point has just lost it as well. So that, yeah, that was very weird coming through the banking. It just loses it completely there, so... Very, very weird there, but um, nearly going over the, the Delta time there. That would have been very awkward, to say the least. If I had got another drive-through penalty, but... Um, obviously, we lost their ground there. And again, I'm just putting the wing up to uh, the four there, because again, I'm still not happy with this and again I hate this part yeah I'm, you can tell I'm not overly thrilled about this and worst thing is obviously Dre's pulling away and OP's actually starting to gain in on me or sorry gain on me as well as here we go race leaders well this will be this is effectively for the race league as the two Red Bulls and this is the team the Alpha Tower in. they're gonna go side by side here with their juggles and uh, who's that Ramsey side by side through the banking just managing to hang on. Now they're still side by side, I think. Yeah, they are still side by side through here. It's going to be very, very awkward here. Especially if they had to talk to Helmut Marco afterwards for both these teams, but they managed to sort it out. And in the end, uh, Ramsey manages to hang on for the time being. But um, make we go to us, the lap 20, you can see OP. Magic is really starting to close in on us here for position nine here. And yeah, I'm mean, just in a real puzzled mode at this point in time because I had no bloody clue what the hell was going on just nothing seemed right when it was straight line speed it was just nothing but uh tried to cover the inside line but OP went for the really close line to the pit wall but uh I think he's going to get the move done in the end anyway so uh yeah fair play to OP so that's him up in the P8 and us back into position 9 we try and hang on to the back of him here but uh, it gets much much better drive out of the corner there. You can see how much gap he's gapped us there. So uh, he's got a hand, pretty handy setup there uh, as OP. As uh, we cut to lap 22. We just managed to hang on to the DRS of OP, but that wasn't going to help our cause if we try to spin it again on the curb at turn one. And then we lost it all basically again. So uh, pretty much trying to catch up all that margin again. But uh, thankfully, we've got a little bit of margin back to the next car, which is uh, it's uh, Gurkanemo or Jerkanemo, one of the two. Our gap to the car in front is 1.4 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tyres are five laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 12.4. You're down eight tenths a lap. Just tell the difference. And again, OP's got no penalties, and I've got one. But I'm losing a lot of time, and I, I still don't know why. I wonder I'm losing time. You see, I've lost uh, DRS again to, uh, to OP as Harass comes into the pit lane for his one and only stop. So he goes onto the soft compound of tyres, and you see he's as well as truly behind me. He's a couple of uh, couple of seconds behind at the time, but uh, I assume he will gain back on us as well. But um, as uh, Banana comes in at the end of lap 23. And you can see he's actually well and truly overcut us here big time. So uh, you can tell my puzzled. I was so very so puzzled at this point that the setup. I don't think it's just right at all. It's, uh, if Bananas just overcut us there big time. And he went from hearts to soft. So no, this was not the setup to go to. Yeah, you can tell I'm, I'm not overly thrilled about this at all. So um, you can tell I've picked the soft compound of tyres for the just in case I have to make another stop there. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just in a, it's just really, really puzzled here. This, this car setup, that's not, it's just not working at all, basically. I know I'm 
uh, blurring and blabbering on a little bit about the setup, but I just don't know what it was. Just nothing seemed to seem right with the car, or it was just me driving the, the way I was driving it around here, or what I don't know. But um, I think that put paid. Yeah, you see Harass goes right down the inside here and uh, well Fuck me dead. I'm not overly too happy. I don't I don't obviously stream these point of views, but I tell you what, I'll probably get a good reaction from this anyway. But uh we make a late pit stop well when I say late pit stop, we're gonna come in lap twenty five here and uh, go onto a set of soft competitor tires and just see what we could do basically. We might be the this point in time we may be ending up for the uh, posi uh, the lower positions in the top 10 so uh, which is probably not what I was anticipating earlier on after qualifying but uh, that's probably the way we've got to go here or whether it was better to go onto the medium combat at tyres or what I don't actually know so we're going to lap 27 obviously we're going to try obviously slowly catch up to the back of uh, like I said I uh, apologise if I get the game of tags wrong here but it's either Gurkha Nemo or Jerka Nemo one of the two here so uh but uh, this is my fastest lap actually around Zandvoort. So let's see what lap time we get set. We set a personal best that previous lap, obviously. So, uh, but we're just pretty much in no man's land, really. We've got to obviously the gap back to my teammate who obviously came in during that virtual safety car. And then the next car, obviously, up the road, which is obviously Jerk Gurkha Nemo. And then obviously Harass is a further well 10 9 9 10 seconds up the road here so through turn 10 use the drs obviously we're using ers at this point in time because we don't have anybody around us we'll ride the curb as best we can we go green in the middle sector the first sector was probably a lot better than the first that uh, lap 26 compared to this lap anyway but um we come around the final corner there uh, take a nice tight line through there uh, around the final corner come across the line and it is 11 536 on uh, that lap there so that was our personal best of the race not the uh, probably not the fastest overall but uh, we get a warning update and uh, yeah, that was for Gurkha Nemo in front there, who's got no penalty. So basically, I have to get past him and try and gap out three seconds <laughs> at least <laughs> to try and avoid, uh, well, him getting back in front of me I later on in the race. The... Oh, and he's, and and, he's uh, I think the Rock's actually gone for a spin there. Wow. So uh, there goes a decent result there for the Rock. He was in pretty handy with P4 there, just behind both the Red Bulls and the Alpha Tauri of Joggles. It's at lap 30, we finally catch up to another car. Took a little bit of time to, uh, to finally catch up, but we we managed to do so. Now we can try go for a move somewhere. Oh, we, I don't really know where there's, too, there's too, not too many passing opportunities around this track anyway, so I'm um, just going to play it nice and patiently and see whether there's a possible move up here or what's going to happen here. But... Uh, it's into turn nine here. Actually, I think it actually just lets me go here. So, um, yeah, I was probably a little bit surprised there, but uh, obviously, I maybe realised that I was on the softs and obviously you know, the much quicker tie compared to the hards there. Anyway, but um, yeah, I found that yeah, it was very weird. Uh, uh, nothing against obviously people letting me go there, obviously, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we're, we're gonna maybe pull away now it's probably going to be a long shot to catch up to op now who's in p8 so uh update okay gap ahead is 9.0 seconds they're on old hearts their tires are 14 laps old the time last lap was a 1 minute 19.5 they have a time penalty of 3.0 three seconds will be added to their time at the end of the race so op's got three seconds of time penalties but um, I don't think it's really going to matter too much because he's about eight seconds behind. About I think it's about eight seconds behind him. Somebody around those lines anyway. So um, that's it. I think there was maybe a little bit of an incident as well uh, during that lap as well. A little bit close. Now this actually might be the reason why OP was has dropped back a few spots. I was wondering why he's a lot further back than what he should be. That might explain. <laughs> White. He's actually battling away with uh, Dre there for position. 
and he'd gone the grass and it was a couple of bits of contact there. Banana coming at a million miles an hour on the fresh soft compound of tyres and uh, well, that, it's, it's sort of a tricky one that one but uh, OP obviously ends up losing his spots and Dre's going to lose a spot if he runs wide there. So, so Banana's up into P5, 6 around there. A bit hard to tell there as um, checking the fastest slap. Which were about three tenths off the fastest lap time overall there. So, um, yeah, I probably should have sh uh, said I saw that uh, the incident earlier on on the mini map there, but I, I didn't realize at the time there. So, apologies about that. But uh, yeah, that was the reason why OP dropped a, a few spots there back into P8. So, um, that's uh, it's gonna be some pretty much to to no avail, I think, as again, I'm just struggling through turn 11 and 12 there. I just Caution. never could get it right at all. There's these yellow flags Caution. in the Caution. foreground, so someone's had an off no in the foreground. Oh, that'd be who? That's The Rock, actually, has had an off there, I think, uh, coming out of the penultimate corner, by the looks of things. So uh, we might have to see if there's any replays of that. He joggles up the inside of Ramsey, and he gets that done, but he might do a crisscross here. He does. Thinks about it. Joggles gets it done for you watching my position league two. Some good racing. I just I just got second. Yep, he's got position two. So he's split now the Red Bulls. As Kudo, I think, has actually pulled away up the front there. So we're now approaching uh, one of the lap traffic. That's Iceman there in the Renault. So he's a bit further down the road there. So, uh, yeah, but pretty much not a great deal uh, happened at the back end of our race. To be honest, we're pretty much in no man's land. It is a replay on board with Blocky Rex. He's making going to go try and get around the outside of Misty Griffin in the racing point. If you get the drive out of here, he can do it. It'll be tight. Who breaks late? Should have the inside line for the next corner, which he does. So that's Blocky now into P12. Probably won't matter too much, obviously, because, you know, score points for P12 in the end. But... Uh, here we go on the final yellow run, to, uh, the, uh, the final run home here is this a yellow flag gets it ended up ahead. And I think it's G Force Dre that's had a spin there as well. So he's not having the greatest of times here at the Netherlands either. So um, it just uh, sounds very weird to say that considering what he had so far, the, the race win in Australia and then I think a podium in Bahrain. So uh, not having the greatest of runs here, but it means Kuda, here comes the third different uh, race winner in three different races. Dre won the first one. Uh, OP won the second one, if I'm not mistaken. And now Kuda's now joined that. So three different winners already in the first three rounds. We come home in P8. Damn it. Probably oh. could have been a hell of a lot better. Maybe maybe had the setup is maybe different. I don't know. But uh, whether the, my driving style was not suited to it, I don't know. But uh, it's going to be a handy double points, I think, in the end for... Ferrari is my teammate comes home in P10. Yes, just in the end there. So, um, yeah, P8 it is and P10. So, not too bad. Harass gets the uh, driver of the day. I think he was probably the highest of the opposite strategy people yeah, that uh, went from hards to softs. So, uh, yeah, big congrats to Dakuda. He drove very damn well, got to say the least. He even had the pressure of uh, the Red Bulls of his, uh, his teammate, sorry, of uh, Ramsey and the, uh, the Alpha Tauri of uh, Joggles. So very handy drives there from uh, from those guys. Seems to kind of work out why there's a Renault on the podium. But then I realised, I think Banana actually got on the podium from memory. Sorry, Banana. Um, I thought Ramsey was in there somewhere, shape or form, but we'll have a look at the final results. So it is Kuda that wins the, uh, the Dutch Grand Prix ahead of Banana. In position two, I think Joggle's got the final podium. And then it's, uh, uh, is it Ramsey in position four? Uh, going to go with it anyway. Then it's Dry, uh, no, Harass in P5. Uh, OP in P6. Dre in seventh. Myself in eighth. Uh, the uh, Jerk and Emo in ninth. And Hazard rounds out your top ten. There's a couple of DNFers uh, a bit further back. Oh, sorry. There we go. P11. That's the other Alpha Tauri, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I might be a house. I'm not actually sure. You'll, you'll be able to see it anyway on your results screen. So, um, but yeah, I'm very, very puzzled to say the least as to why we had pretty much not really great pace to the top guys anyway. So, um, 
That's not ideal. You can see I'm checking through the race track to see the lap times. I mean, I was just puzzled, obviously. Uh, Harass actually did the mediums to the soft compound tire strategy, so v nice job from him. I'm just checking, like, every the top guys there to see what the, uh, the, their lap times were. So, with the championship now, it's dead even at the top with GeForce Dre and Kuda equal on points, I believe. And then a further point behind is OP Magic in P3. Banana is four points behind... Uh, in position four, so it's very, very close at the top of the championship standing. Same so can be said for constructors. It's now Red Bull that have leapfrogged up into the top now on 69 points, eight clear of Mercedes, and then Haas there in position four. Uh, Ferrari uh, back down to P8 uh, on 10 points, and Alfa Romeo still have yet to score uh, points. Uh, we're now in position 12, I think, in the championship, so we did make a little bit of inroads in the championship wise so not overly too bad there of course there's a few guys that had that didn't race obviously so we jumped a few spots out of all of that so um you could you could tell that from the championship standings there but um yeah we're currently on the what are we on four five points overall this season so probably not the where i wanted to be at th this point in the season anyway there's the license points not overly too much happened there i didn't actually check who won bahrain so apologies about that but uh that was the driver of the day so it's uh we got ramsey banana and harass that have got the driver of the day so far so three different ones out of the end of the day so that's not too bad the squad championship standings as well where it's basically everybody who's in the same car in the different like pacific euro and americas uh, ferrari not doing too great either they're in p9 williams lead that championship by two points over mclaren and a further point behind to uh, Alpha Tauri, so um, yeah, we're, that, that'll do it for this video of the, the Dutch Grand Prix. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Sorry there wasn't too much footage on my point of view. I might have been blabbering too much about the setup there, so uh, apologies about that. But if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big smash on that like button. As always, you can leave your comments down below. Subscribe to my channel for plenty more race spec F1 esports content on F1 2020, plus plenty more video gaming content as well. As always, all my social media links will be down in the description. Plus, I'll leave the links down below to the race spec uh, socials. They're Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, their YouTube and Twitch channels. Uh, plus, I'll leave a link as well to the Discord if you want to come join up into the league there. So, uh, yeah, we're leaving now with the highlights of the race, or what was our race. But, uh, yeah, until the next time, whenever that will be, it is goodbye, and I'll see you all next time.